Today, we will talk about the suspension of constitutional guarantees in El Salvador, called a state of siege or exception, depending on the pertinent legislation. The idea is that rulers must act with great speed during emergencies such as natural disasters, disturbances of public order, wars, or other calamities. To avoid abuses, the Constitution imposes short limits to the suspension of the guarantees. In El Salvador, there have been numerous emergency occasions when a state of siege has been declared. Let's see some examples. 1913, after the assassination of President Manuel Enrique Araujo. 1917, after the San Salvador earthquake. In these episodes, the suspension of guarantees was brief. There were two occasions, however, when the state of siege lasted well beyond the emergency. In the end, these served to consolidate authoritarian governments. In the first case, the state of siege was maintained throughout the presidency of Alfonso Quinones. During the electoral campaign, he guaranteed his election with the armed assault on a demonstration of women who had only asked for respect for the constitution and the right to vote. During his government, he restricted the freedom of the press, created a propaganda newspaper, took advantage of advanced communications to create an idealized image of his administration, organized a network of spies, and tried to be reelected in violation of the constitution. But at the last moment, circumstances halted the project. Second, Maximiliano Hernández Martínez imposed a state of siege during the peasant uprising of 1932 and governed a good part of his dictatorship with limits and constitutional guarantees. During his administration, he, too, restricted press freedom, created a propaganda newspaper, exploited advanced communications to create an idealized image of his administration, organized a spy network, and was re-elected in violation of the Constitution. But the second time he tried to be re-elected, national repudiation led to a sit-down strike that ousted him. Both established single-party systems where those who did not support the president did not get public jobs or state contracts. 